Hi, this is Mike, and I just want to share a real simple but handy tip for linking to documents in your Articulate Presenter courses. Now, Articulate Presenter makes it really easy to include additional content in your course via the Resources tab, which is available through the Player Properties uh, window. Now, that's a great way to give your learners access to reference materials, job aids, uh, websites, printable copies or transcripts of your course, tons and, and tons of, of uses for that, and that's really great. And you can see I've got a couple of, of resources for this course that I've already added, and of course those live in the Resources tab, and it gives us a nice, neat, sort of one-stop shop kind of place for all of those supplemental links and documents in our course. And, and that works really, really great. But what if you wanted to provide the links to those documents in the context of your course on a specific slide from a specific place where it makes the most sense? Fortunately, in Articulate Presenter, that's a really super simple thing to do. And once you've added a, a file as a resource, you can then link to that same file from any slide in your entire presentation. So let's take a look at how to do that. Now all we need to do is a couple of different ways you can get there. You can go via the insert tab to hyperlink or you can right click here and do hyperlink and there's even control K if you're a keyboard shortcut kind of person. So any of those ways are going to bring you to PowerPoint's insert hyperlink dialog box and from here you just need to know what's the right path to put in here to access those attachments that we've we've included as resources so this also worked similarly in studio 09 the the path and the details are a little bit different so I just wanted to show show you those what you need to do in the address field is instead of HTTP like you would for a web address, we're going to put in presentation underscore content forward slash external files. And everything that has been added as a resource attachment are going to be in that location. And then at the end, all I need to do is add my file name. So one of my file names was bulletin.pdf. And now that's going to link me directly to that same file from our resources tab. And from our published version we can see here's our resources tab regulations and bulletin and here is our link from directly on the slide. So that's going to pop that open. There's my PDF in a new tab or there's the other one that we had there before. And that's one way you can get the best of both worlds putting them all in one single location or splitting them out and putting them on specific slides within your presentation. Uh, it's also important to note that you can put those resources in there but choose not to display this resources tab so if for some reason we don't want everything all in one nice neat location you can still use this trick you just disable the display of that resources tab and everything will work just as you want it to. So I hope that helps and we will see you next time. Thanks.